harder finding the time to make one yourself, but Melissa Bees is here and she has the trick to make at home co at home costumes quick and easy. And you brought some live models here for me. We have Tristan. That's correct. And, and he's a mummy. He's a mummy. So what we did is we just took um, some long underwear and we shredded an old sheet and we hot glue gunned these pieces right onto this and then I took actual makeup and I brushed it to make it a little bit um, more old looking. So it actually worked really nice, just a little white makeup and I used some eyeshadow to do the black just to give that depth to that mummy. And then with and then Finn, Finn. Finn, we <laughs> have, is a little werewolf. And so we took some old um, shirts and some old pants. Um, and what we did is we actually sewed some fur that you can buy at the store. Um, and then we clipped some felt and then put the felt on, to, or the fur onto the felt as well to make a clip. Teased his hair, put a little bit of some brown on there to make him a werewolf. So it was really easy, both of those costumes under $20. That is awesome. Guys, you look great. Step over to this side Come for me. Over that way. And you brought us some other options. I Tell me did. about these. They so look these, fancy. These were do-it-yourself. There are two twos. Okay. Um, we should have some pictures of a peacock, and then we have a pink flamingo, and we mm -hmm. also had bubble gum. And with the peacock, we merely took the tool, and we um, cut it in strips, and then and tied it on a ribbon mm -hmm. and then after that we uh, took um, a boa that you can have around the house we all have boas here in New Orleans <laughs> um, and glued that around the edge and then we found these cute peacock feathers at Michael's for about five dollars each and tucked them in um, so that you got the tail for the peacock and then we ma made a matching headband with a little peacock to also include on the hair. Now who um, doesn't want a pink flamingo outfit? Right and for the little one we had um, a pink boa I mean if you go to um, Nick's or Muse you'll probably have tons of these around. <laughs> um, so we just glued that to a pair of pink pants and then we had her in a little pink shirt as you can see by the picture, wrapped the actual lighter pink boa and then just clipped a little um, face that we made out of some felt um, and that was our little pink flamingo. And these are things that they that can transition into Mardi Gras. You can wear these over and over again, not just Halloween costumes, so I love that. Um, we always make our costumes right. at home at my house and this year uh, my daughter wants to be the moon in the clouds. She loves the moon. She's three. Oh, that's cute. And my 11 year old wants to be digestion, so maybe in a longer segment we can talk about that. Interesting. <laughs> but we do have some other things for yes. people who might not be used to doing this in the first exactly. time at home kits. So we have um, some things from a company called Seedling and they have these packages of all these types of do-it-yourself kits. Everything you need for the project is actually inside the kit. So we have things for like those girls that love Frozen. We have some tutus. For your little superhero we have a do-it-yourself superhero cape. We also have a crown which is also great for Mardi Gras. For a king we have make your own bat wings and bat ears which is perfect for Halloween. Uh, we have your pirate hat a little feather hat and a tiara and those who are into a Harry Potter we have a little bit of a uh, an actual do-it-yourself wand and like I said everything is included in those kits. Tell us about spooky time real quick. Spooky time hour is this Sunday which is today at one o'clock we're gonna have um, bring your kids put them in costumes we'll have some treats. Uh, it's actually going to be our first annual um, story time where we'll be reading some of our books that we have in store that are based on Halloween. And where's that? That's at 209 Harrison Avenue at Little Peanut Toy Shop. Melissa Vies, thank you so much for joining us. And if you want to learn more about Melissa's do-it-yourself costumes, you can log on to the website right on your screen. Well, it was a record-setting night for Leonard Fournette and the LSU Tigers. Coming up next in sports, we've got the amazing highlights from last night's game against Old Miss. Well, the LSU Tigers pulled through last night, bringing home another win in Tiger Stadium. Sports anchor Sharif Ishak is in Baton Rouge to tell us what the night was like for running back Leonard Fournette. Before the Ole Miss game, Leonard Fournette hadn't played in the game since the Auburn game back on September 24th. Well, his return was more than pretty good. It was record-breaking good. Leonard Fournette had a single-game rushing record of 284 yards, breaking Ali Broussard's record of 250 yards against, you guessed it, the Ole Miss Rebels back in 2004. To be honest, it was one of the, one of the hardest seasons for me, especially dealing with his injury. You know, uh, still, still dealing with it right now. But my mother uh, just texted me a uh, scripture or whatever. And I also told Mr. Keith Faye and I had to worry about my injury. And uh, that's what I did. It's a privilege for not just me, but just for my O-line too. Because without those guys, especially the wide receivers at, during the back end, 
it wouldn't be possible. And Ed Ogeron admits he's never been a part of anything like this before. I've never been a part of a player like Leonard, to be honest with you. But, yeah, uh, no, he's, uh, he's dynamic. I believe he's the best player in the country. When I tell you I was one of the hardest drinks of my life, man, it's just uh, it's hard for me. It's very hard, especially when everybody wanted you to, wanted me to sit out. I mean, I could have, but when you really love football, it's not about sitting out. You know what I mean? I, I, I love competing. I love going out there with Jamal Adams, guys like that each and every day. And uh, I feed off them. All right, I guess I don't have to tell you who's next on LSU's schedule. That would be, of course, the Alabama Crimson Tide. Both teams with a bye week coming up next weekend. They will meet in Tiger Stadium on November 5th. Coach Ogeron says the team will get ready for that game starting Monday afternoon. In Baton Rouge, Sharif Ishak, WDSU News. I'm Fletcher Mackle. Good Sunday morning, everyone. Let's get to the football highlights involving everyone not named Leonard Fournette. In Oklahoma yesterday, Tulsa quarterback Dane Evans threw three touchdowns as the Golden Hurricane beat Tulane 50-27. to Evans had 236 yards passing. Willie Fritz's Tulane team had two quick scores late in the third quarter, but a two-point conversion pass was intercepted by McKinley Whitfield, who ran it back for a defensive two-point conversion for the Hurricane. It was just that kind of day for the Wave. Tulane is now 3-4 and four overall. They play SMU next Saturday afternoon afternoon in Yulman Stadium. You yesterday, Sam Houston State quarterback Jeremiah Briscoe threw for 419 yards and three touchdowns to lead the Bearcats to a 38-21 win over Nickel State. Freshman Chase Forcade from Rummel High School threw for 254 yards, and he actually caught this touchdown pass on a trick play. Nichols is now 3-4, and four, but they have played very well this season and are a team on the rise. At Strawberry Stadium, Deshae Lander was 16 of 30 for 229 yards.